Frank Saltino was a finance professor at San Francisco State University who found that the widely used Sharpe ratio wasn't accurately measuring the risk-adjusted returns of his investments. He noticed that the Sharpe ratio penalizes upside and downside volatility equally, whereas in stocks, upside volatility is a good thing. He adjusted the formula to only take downward deviation into account. Let's first look at how the Sharpe ratio works. This is time series data for a set of annual returns for a financial instrument. We plot these on a graph and calculate a mean average of the returns. Then we measure the squared average distance from the mean and take a square root of that figure to give us the standard deviation. The Sharpe ratio can then be calculated by using the average return divided by the standard deviation. There's one additional factor from back in the day when interest rates were a thing that takes away the rate of risk-free returns, often treasury bonds, from the average return prior to dividing it by the standard deviation. The Sultino ratio is adjusted to measure the standard deviation only when the return is negative, or below a baseline for the minimum accepted return. A return below the mean but above zero will not be counted. This means any positive return will not negatively affect the rating. So which is better? I think that largely depends on the situation. If past upside volatility might be an indicator of future drawdowns, then the Sharpe ratio is a much better tool for the job. Whereas if the downside is being capped or well managed, then the Sultino ratio can better highlight the benefits of such returns. Financial analysts will generally look for a Sharpe ratio above one or a Sultino ratio above two as an indicator for potentially good investment. I hope this video has helped with understanding the Sharpe and the Sultino ratio. Please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about online business and investments. Thank you for watching.